Royale for life. <laughs> D Brown, the Truth Urban Theater Group. They're out of Brentwood. You got the Royal Click. You got 145. Engineer, producer, rapper, poet, writer. These guys have welcomed me into their family. It's really, really awesome, and this is where this whole journey has begun. You, you. Okay, I teach in Central Isa for 17 years. My backstory is really important to all this, yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 years. I'm here. Who? I was your teacher. See, that's just crazy. <laughs> and there you go, all right? Uh, I didn't always do this, okay? This really was born quite a few years ago. Um, out of my students, what I have really become in all this, the record that's produced and written and produced by Melee, written by me, performed by me, um, it comes out of my experience as a teacher. Students don't have voices, so for some reason I was placed to give them a voice, okay? So I take a lot of what their struggle is and what they shared with me, and I put it to paper so that I could share it with you, and that we could all stay informed of what takes place, and maybe even tap into their struggle as our struggle, so I learn a lot about myself through this whole process as well. So this is called The Cacophony of Footsteps, and it's written about one of my former students. <clears throat> the cacophony beneath his feet as he beats the concrete turf, tight, tough, attitude ready to burst, bite, buck, go berserk. He thinks no one's looking at him, but I am. And I can see the hurt in that little smurf. His bruise is black, make him a little blue. And since I'm not one to flirt with the truth, I'll be curtain, acknowledge the wreckage of his little mushroom village. His pride is disguised in lies. Alone with his secret cries, he hides. Don't try and shh, don't tell. But I know his gargamel. Deep down inside, he wants to fly with clipped wings. He lurks the earth in search of his soul. See, he can't see that his soul is old, embodied by youth and age. His story was told, but it was stolen by the mold who left him frozen in the cold. The cool breeze couldn't numb or ease the pain and tame the lame, insane thoughts that maimed the wings of a would-be hawk. Never learning how to crawl or walk, he must run. Run cold and swollen alone. Run from his past, no one to hold him, no one to hug him, a thug in. Society standards burn deep. He was branded, love was teased, but never candid in a flash to backlash, crash Photoshop. His life was cropped without plan and not able to reboot. His code switch was permanent, becoming a picture perfect problem from the day he was born into this cold planet. I Hypothermia comes with ease when emotions have no jacket and there's no protection from a deep freeze with constant racket. The back and forth wasn't enough to smack it. Being pragmatic, he attacked it, wearing the wrong feelings on his sleeve. Wanting melodic, but often having sporadic emotions. He never learned how to say please. Not being clear, it would appear he took with ease. Well, can you blame him? He had no parents to appease. The drum from his footsteps comes from the beat of the street. Every bend of his knee is on the inside, walking dead in the wrong direction. This illusion is a misrepresentation if you knew the broken family system systematically ruining little human after human, continuing a cycle that few men could tackle. Misguided, they would ride him, cause he would try them, and the pride within them blinded them, that even his teachers led him astray. They didn't even like him, they couldn't, nor did he even try to say the right thing, pretended to hope, and he just blend in, or worse, stop coming mm. and go away. A disruption, a hidden volcano, fighting every day to prevent from erupting. His soul is corrupted, corroded, the board innocence is slowly eroded. His child is hard, exploded, and hardened, instantly grown, promoted. He knows not what he does. That needs to be noted. He was pinned and often backed into a corner and told, as long as you're quiet. He had to be stronger than most to hide the real show. So as he sang the songs of a crow, he wanted to grow. He just didn't know how the rose beneath his feet could get fertilized through the concrete. How could that be? Well, see, he lacked belief. Never having anyone who believed he could achieve. Cracked and broken. No words spoken. A metaphorical token opens the way. A physical motion from the right person in a moment. A comet took over his ocean. Settling the seat for a second in all the commotion. Looking up and realizing in one notion there is hope. All is not lost. All is not a waste. And it's not about the floodgate. And only a little water is needed to germinate. And without the cracks, the water could not get through and find its way. He didn't know that the rose had already begun to grow. And so, with cracks beneath his feet, beaten drum sounds of broke memories, 
He proceeds in spite of his family, in spite of most teachers, in spite of society and the laws of probability, inspired by possibility, blessed with humility and open to change, given up on the blame game and taking ownership of his new faith, knowing there is work to be done. He is ready to start, look, stop looking backwards and ready to move forward. His spirit is risen with the sun. Thank you. Woo!